top 10 dangerous bouncer in cricket history number 10 james foster got a nasty bouncer for andrew adams the ball hit the helmet and it left his head fortunately did not damage to him during the match between england and new zealand third test at auckland in 2002 Number 9 Michael Papps, who had to endure the deadly bouncer from Lee, not once but twice. By the way, Papps was able to walk away with the first one. He had to be given some on field treatment that delivered near to 150 ks per hour. Number 8 Justin Langer was hit on his head by a Mecca Indini bouncer after which he fainted. He later left field for the treatment during the match between South Africa and Australia, third test at Johannesburg in 2004. Number 7 <coughs> Brett Lee bowled a dangerous bouncer and Chandra Paul misjudged the bouncer completely and knuckled down, but the ball did not bounce as much as he expected. It stuck the back of his helmet and Chandra Paul was fought instantly during the match between West Indies and Australia, first test at Kingston in 2008. Number 6 Lance Chaos took a sickening blow and was injured by a short delivery from Wasim Akram. He did not wear a helmet, unfortunately. During the match between New Zealand and Pakistan, third test at New Zealand in 1985. Number 5 Cummings sustained a depressed fracture of his cheekbone and a broken jaw when he was felt by a bouncer from Dale Stain. It's a very nasty one. He operation to repair broken bones on his face during the match between New Zealand and South Africa, second test at Centurion in 2007. Number 4 Australian fast bowler Jeff Lawson was struck a sickening blow from West Indies speed striker Curtly Ambrose, resulting in Lawson being stretched off within a broken jaw during the match between Australia and West Indies, second test at Perth in 1988. Number 3 Ramesh Ratnayaka bowled a brutal browser that hit the Cindy's Larry Gomez on the mouth, the nasty one, and also he didn't wear a helmet during the match between Sri Lanka and West Cindy's at Melbourne in 1985. Number 2 Andrew Simon got a nasty bouncer from Makaya in Tini. The ball hit the helmet guard, the helmet gone back on his face and bleeding from his lips during the match between South Africa and Australia, second test at Durban in 2006.
number one. Gary Kirsten got a nasty one from Shoaib Akhtar that went through the helmet to hit on his face. Gary Kirsten fell with the blood on his face during the match between South Africa and Pakistan, first test at Lahore in 2003.